everyone welcome to the next video in this relaxing um little series from world of wonders by johanna basford now today we have quite a few leaves to do i will come in closer don't worry and we if we look at them quickly they look quite similar um, they're the same sort of shape. These two particularly look almost identical. However, because there's so many of them, I feel that it's probably best to not do them all the same. Um, I think or else it might just look a little bit too samey and it won't be so interesting to colour. So I am just going to start with um, whoops, one of our greens, um, number 38, and start this one. I'm just wondering, this one's quite similar. I think we'll be okay. And just move through and do each of them in a different colour combination. Now I'm going to be quite light here. Often the vein of a plant is a little bit lighter. So I'm going to start off lighter and then put down a more intense layer here. And then just start to fade it off a little bit. Like that. Now we're using... Um, Stedler Design Journey pencils, by the way. I didn't say. I'm not very good at remembering to say, am I? Um, I forgot, actually. I've uploaded the um, earlier videos already. Um, they're not ready for um, viewing yet. Excuse me. Ooh, um, but um, I haven't put the comparison charts in. Um, this is 551. I'm just going to make a note. Um, what I might do is I've got a Stedler section in my I'm going to go with this 551 I'm not going to go over this one I'm going to go over this bit um, in my Kofi shop I have a Stedler section and so I'll direct you there and then you can have a look at all my Stedler charts so there is the swatch chart which I'm actually using right now um, but there's also um, various comparison charts. So if you don't have the Stedlers, you can compare and find a better, a match to the perhaps pencil set you do have. Now this is 550. I'm going to finish off with this one. So I'm going to actually do some on here. Just to neaten it up a little bit. Uh, and then we're going to go right over all of this as well. I'm going to layer it up a little more intensely down at the bottom. And then less as we go up towards the tip. And we're going to, as I say, take it all the way up. But what you can do is put more layers down here. And then make it a little less up here. Now I have just noticed we've got a bit here. We'll do that in a minute to get enough down without too much so sounds a bit odd I just want to make sure that you can see there's green there but it sort of fades to this point I think that works and then this tip I'm going to try and do it so that it fades a little so a bit darker here I think it's better for my hands underneath isn't it and a bit darker here it's harder to colour as neatly but never mind and then like that so I want these tips a bit darker if they're not dark enough for you you can go back to one of the pencils that you've already used and darken them up I'm okay with it like that okay oops <laughs> a big clatter that's our first one done now I'm going to avoid doing an olive color until we get maybe round here because we're quite close to this olive and um, so this one I think we'll just do in a sort of mid green. Oops. So I've got the number 52 here. And I'm going to... Now this one has got this sort of pattern in. It's a little bit strange. I'm just trying to have a little think about what to do with that. I think what I'll do is I'll do a colour first and ignore it. And then decide what to do with it at the end. Might not be the best strategy, but we'll see. So using this 52... Just taking it, it's starting to fade it now, right down actually, like that. Then we've got our 50, I think this is. 
Yeah. It's quite hard to read the white pen, isn't it? White print, isn't it? Going back over all of it. And then taking the colour up. We've got another turned over bit. I think we'll do the same as that one. We'll keep some consistency between them. So I hope everyone's good today. I've already had a walk this morning actually. It's going up half past ten. I thought it was early. Apparently not. <laughs> well, husband that didn't had a clinician appointment this morning, so he was late leaving for work. It's sort of thrown me off a little bit. I've just noticed the sun is coming out onto the desk. Mm. I think we're okay at the minute. We'll see how it goes. It's sort of dappled and between um, clouds, so we'll see. So this one I'm going to put quite intensely here and then fade it off just the same as we did with the other one. Yeah, I was looking out for the otter this morning but didn't see any. Um, there were three actually, a mother and pups, which is rather nice. There we go. So this bit I think, hmm, what should we do? We could just go over it in a slightly darker colour. I'm going to grab this one actually. This is number 55. It really is very dark. I don't want it looking that dark. What I'm going to do is just gently go over it. Just to sort of darken the inside of the shape. I mean, you'd have to do this. You could just leave it. Um, I might do a second there. It's a little bit pale, isn't it? I didn't want to press too hard or do it too intensely to start with. But I think it's uh, pretty good. It doesn't look too odd. Just wanted to make sure it wasn't like taking over the whole picture, but I think that's fine. Now this one's very similar to this one, a little bit different. It's those two that are identical, isn't it? Oh, that sun is so bright, but it's not. Um, it's not um, really um, coming in too much at the minute. I'm just having a little look at this stem work here, but I think this long stem definitely belongs to this one. So we'll just do this bit of stem got number five. Number five is just green. Now rather than doing this much lighter like we did here I'm just gonna keep it the same as the bit in the background. I just want them to not all look the same so we'll do a few in a minute where it goes it's dark from the tip and light to the base instead just so it's a little bit different. Um, why not? We can mix it up a little bit. Yeah, I had I um we'd actually only had two bananas left and me and the children always have a banana with our breakfast. And um so we didn't quite have enough. I say children. Are they children when they're eighteen? I think so. But yeah. I'm gonna grab a bit of a different colour for the tip. I'm gonna go for this one. This is the fifty seven, so we're going a little bit more olivey, but we've got this base of a sort of more mid green see how it looks. Um, yeah, so I went out and it was a rather nice walk along the canal. To this is really lovely. I feel so lucky to be able to walk along the canal and go to the supermarket. It's just lovely. So I went along there and uh, yeah, I didn't see the otter or anything much really. A few magpies, pigeons, that sort of thing. But it was nice and peaceful. It's all people. It's always Say hello, good morning to people. And um, I didn't even see any dog walkers. It's probably a bit late. Probably going off to work. I think you can sort of... I'm doing that a little darker each end too. It's not showing up enough for me that bit. I'm going to grab the five again. Oh. And just do each end because it's not it that... 57. There we go. Just darken. Just spread it out so it's only intense on the ends. There we go. Okay, now with this one, we're going to start light and go dark, as I said I was going to do. But I don't like 
colouring that way around. So I'm going to start dark and go light, but I'm going to start at that end and go light. Now, I find that, um, I used to find starting with the lighter colour really befuddled me. I found it so difficult. This is number 579. So, because, now, I think I'll do this a bit lighter, so I'm going to leave it. Um, because if you apply, say, a white or a yellow down first, really hard, hard enough so you can see it. So if you've got a hard pencil, you have to press and put lots of layers. Then you can't put anything on top of it. So I didn't like that. So it sort of put me off going in that direction from light to dark. But it depends on the pencil set you're using, really, whether you can do that successfully or not. And your level of practice. This is 56. If you do it a little bit lighter, then it would be easier. That sort of thing. But, um, you know, I was new. I didn't really know what to do. And then you sort of develop a technique that you probably just carry on with. I've been having fun actually colouring something last night. I did a little bit this morning. My nose is running. Um, uh, the tortoise from Small Victories. I was doing the postcard size one and uh, he was such a cutie I think I, I did him in a video already so I haven't videoed this one I'm now doing 17 it isn't really green but I think we need some sort of non-greens really um, and um, I've been colouring him I'm going to go over this now too just lightly and it's been such fun I've been trying to I've been looking at some videos on Instagram there's a couple of people who are so amazing at colouring they do all these layers and um, make everything look really three-dimensional and things like that and I don't know how they do it in such fine detail with Prisma colours but they do now this one I'm thinking maybe we should do it in browns or a little bit of brown. Um, yes, let's try this. Let's start with this one. This is the 19, so this is 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 more of an ochre, but it's quite a brownish tone, I think. And we'll see where it leads us. Um, again, like this one, I'm just going to colour the stem in and the markings this time. I might go over it at the end. I'll wait and see what it looks like. Um, yeah, so they, they do all these beautiful layers, lots of, so much sort of shading that everything looks really three-dimensional and I'm sort of in awe, so I'm copying that sort of idea for, uh, for my tortoise. This is a 49. Sorry, it's really dark. And uh, I'm having a really good time. I'm not going to go over the stem. I think I want it darker. And just doing it really slowly. But it's a really small picture, so I'm using my polychromos to keep them so sharp to get it working. Because, uh, as I say, it's a really, sh really little picture. Um, but, um, yeah, it's... Uh, it's so far so good, but there's a lot to go. I've sort of done the actual tortoise's body, which I think is the easiest bit out of the lines there. And um, starting the shell. This is number 16. Um, I am going to go over everything with this one because it's a lovely warm colour. Just brighten everything up. Um, Yes, yeah, so the I'm de I haven't done the sort of. I suppose I'm from might be halfway. There's leaves and flowers to go as well. I don't know how many actually. I'm really. I'm sort of trying to concentrate on just one element at a time. Try not to rush. It's hard. But we'll see. See how it comes out. I'll share it with you anyway in my computer pages. I'm going to just erase that bit because it's bothering me. There we go. 
when you're using a harder pencil, it's easier to erase. Right, we've nearly had our 15 minutes already. Um, is it 15 or are we doing 20? I think we do 20 minutes, don't we, per video? I'm trying to remember. But anyway, we'll do this one. And yeah, we'll do this one next. I'm going to argue with myself. <laughs> um, I want a more green one, but maybe with... Yes, so what can I use? Yeah, I'm going to start with this one this time. So we're back to our sort of olives. Whoops, 57. Okay. Mm, I think I'm going to up here because that one's olive, so... It'll look a little bit different. Again, I'm starting dark here. Although I might, I don't know, fade a bit like that. Then I'm going to use my whoops, my whoops, my 56 just to take it a little bit higher up. This is a really lovely colour combination. Warm. I love this colour actually, just on its own. I'm going to add another colour on the tip in a minute. Just get this neat, and I'm going to use this one on here. You'll see why in a minute. Because this is the back of the leaf, so it's not a continuation of that. Um, what I'm going to use on the um, tip is actually this, which is. 722. It looks quite orangey in camera. Um, it's the Indian red and um, just felt that we could have a little red tip on this one. I'm just gently trying to blend it in. You can also apply some more of the green if you feel it needs it, but I think it's fine like that. And then this last one, which as I said, I'm not going to be doing in the sort of olives. I think we go to this one. This is 551. And um, we'll go dark to light again, like we did for that one, or else that'll be the only one. Look a little bit strange. Not, I'm going to use a mid colour, I think, for that. So this is my darkest, and uh, just start fading down, like that, so I'm doing less layers, so it's paler, also pressing a little bit less hard, though I always do try not to press too hard anyway. Um, yeah, I think we'll go to this at 550. Um, this is our sort of palest green really, so I'm not sure how we're going to do the very base, but I think I could use a yellow. And this doesn't really look like the type of green that needs yellow, does it? Because it's bluey green. But greens are made of blue and yellow. So I'll have a think as I go. But yeah, I came back and uh, gave my son a bit of help with his essay. I said I was going to do this bit in this colour, and I'm trying to do more intense here. Less towards the middle. More intense here. Less towards the middle. I'm going to have to shut the blind for the next video. That sun is so bright. Okay, last colour. As I said, I'm going to do a yellow. I'm going to do like a lemony yellow, I think. Grow best. This is um, number 12. This is called Lemon. Try and layer it up so it shows up. I don't be tempted to push too hard and spoil your book. Just layer it up, have some patience. I'm one to talk. I'm the most impatient person I know. And uh, I'm talking to myself, really. Yes, yeah, so it's helped get my son started with some work. There we go. Okay. 
there are all of our leaves. I'm going to leave that. Seems a good place to stop, doesn't it? And we can do fish um, tomorrow. So there we are. Nice, easy, um, gentle pace. And uh, there we are. So thank you for watching this morning. Um, I hope you come back and drop in tomorrow for the next one. Um, yeah, hope you have a really super day. And happy colouring.